definitely. I mean, I'm glad we did the x-ray because it's fairly concerning for me. Hey everybody, today is Monday and I'm a little, not frantic, but like we're trying. Bo has been sick again and I made a doctor's appointment to get him to the doctor. Um, so we're trying to get out the door to get to the doctor's appointment. What? They're in Piper's room. I'm not feeling good. No. So Bo was up, it felt like all night for me and Zach. It's coughing, sneezing. Runny nose. And I got cold. And yeah, it's not good. It's not good. And I just need to go to the doctor to make sure like nothing more serious than what I'm thinking is is going on. Can we open that door, Piper? Yes. Okay, we're getting in the car. Let's go. Okay. Breathing so fast and had a fever. And just like, <sighs> like even when he was asleep, he was breathing that quickly. And I don't like it. Runny nose, really bad cough, coughing all the time, all day long. We're doing a little breathing treatment for Bo because he's just working a little too hard to get Aaron. We didn't know if he would actually sit still for this, but he likes it. Maybe he likes the noise too. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna have him check for influenza. His little breathing treatment helped a little bit. He's not breathing so strained. But we're also gonna go real quick over to the outpatient center to get his x uh, x-ray of his lungs. She says she wants to do that just to be sure that he doesn't have pneumonia. Okay, we're back home. Hallelujah. Three hours later. <sighs> but honestly, I'm very grateful to have doctors nearby who can Assess my children and tell me what I need to do. We went and got his x-rays, it went well. Obviously he screamed the whole time, but that's okay. So the doctor should be getting the results and she'll hopefully get back to me ASAP. So now me and Piper are gonna get some lunch and then um, and a sucker because she did so good at the doctor's office, didn't ya? Yeah, and I was kinda rubbing me. No, you were nice, you were really good. Do you need to go potty? You said you needed to go potty like two hours ago. No? Okay, well good job not peeing your pants while we were gone. So I'm not, I don't remember if I actually gave you guys the complete update. Ears are clear, no ear infections. His coughing and his, his lungs did not sound good to the doctor. She kept listening to him. It was hard because he kept crying whenever she would like come near him. But every now and then we would get him to calm down and she could really listen to him. So she doesn't, she doesn't necessarily believe he has pneumonia, but she wanted us to get these x-rays just to make sure because she said he's at this point where he could either get worse or he could get better. If we can find the pneumonia like early on right now, then that would obviously be better than not getting the x-ray and letting it happen and then it's just this, you know, worse situation. Oh, what's the matter? <coughs> hey. Are you okay? Are you hungry? Still, I was a little bit more borderline in terms of, you know, I was borderline this morning about whether or not to put him in or put him not in, and I was like, well, his oxygen's okay, doesn't look super bad, but now I'm like, I definitely am a little bit more concerned okay. about him. 
So again, maybe if you could come back at four thirty and we can reevaluate and then kind of make the decision about what yeah. to do okay. with him, then that probably that would make me feel a lot better. I mean, I'm still gonna worry about it, but <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure. We can decide whether definitely. I mean, I'm glad we did the X-ray because it does show what I what I was concerned about in terms of maybe uh, possibly developing pneumonia, but then also for for it to be called probably severe small airway disease is okay. Is definitely fairly concerning for me. Okay, okay, yeah, this sounds um, fine. We can totally come in. I'll bring him back. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Two parts of my brain are like split in situations like this. Like I'm, I'm like really confident in doctors and that they can, and so I'm, I'm not like worried that he's like gonna die or something, but I'm just like, like part of my brain is like, it's totally gonna be fine. You caught it early, they're gonna take care of it. And then part of my brain is like, this is your baby and he's gonna be hurting and he's gonna have to go through all these treatments and it's not gonna be fun and I don't know. Okay, we're back at the doctor's office and we've talked about it and we've decided to just admit Bo into the hospital so they can watch him all night and do the breathing treatment and the suction and everything they need to do. Um, it's one of these things with him where all the numbers look okay and he doesn't look that bad but because the x-rays were really bad we don't want to risk it and we don't want to have to have him just suffer through the night only to be admitted tomorrow um oh and he's dead he, he's here okay. on the way here he totally just like threw up all over himself because he like choked, he choked on a, on a um, cough, his cough like gagged him. Okay, sorry. Okay, we'll catch you up later. So we've been here since like 6.30 and it's almost 1 a.m. Bo is doing really good. Sorry, I'm really tired so I'm talking like really slowly. I'm probably gonna like have to chop all of this up. Okay. When we got here, he was doing really good. They cleared out his nose. There wasn't a lot to clear out, so that wasn't really a big deal. Um, his oxygen levels were okay. They're kind of bouncing between 90 and 94, sometimes dipping below 90, which they didn't want. Um, but he was doing fine. But then once he got to sleep, when he was really asleep, when he was like in a, when he was in a deep sleep, um, his oxygen level got all the way down to 83. Um, and so now they have him with oxygen, um, you know, going in his nose, and that's helping him stay up, which is good. It took me forever to get him back to sleep because he did not like that on his nose, and he does not like the oxygen thing on his foot. I just feel so bad for him. I think he's just. Starving. I, I gave him some more milk, which is a bad idea because he takes a bottle when he goes to sleep. And so I gave him, I had them bring in a, a bottle of milk and he just like totally threw it all up, all over himself, all over the bed. Um, yeah, so there's that. I've had like 30 minutes of sleep. I'm gonna stay up a little bit longer and make sure he's like actually asleep and then hopefully get some more sleep of my own. Okay, so it's been a while since we gave you guys an update. It is now um, Tuesday afternoon, almost six o'clock. Bo is being a lot more active, which is good. He's not as lethargic as he was, so I think the IV is helping him with that. And I think one reason why he's so happy is because these guys are here. Oh, Porter's grumpy again. Who knows why this time? <laughs> And also because dad is here. And also because dad's here too. <laughs> we are just hoping that he starts filling his diapers more when they lower his oxygen, that he can keep his oxygen levels up. We're hoping he'll have a really good night's sleep and just his body can rest and heal and do good. And then he can come home to us tomorrow. I'm really hoping that's the case. He's already doing a lot better. And tomorrow's Porter's birthday, so I really want him to be there for Porter's birthday. <gasps> what are you doing? Look at how sad his little IV is. That's so sad. Okay, 
So Zach is staying here tonight with Bo. Yeah. And I am gonna be at home hopefully getting some good sleep. So that's it for today's video. Probably a little dramatic, <laughs> but he's doing a lot better and we're really excited and, and happy that he, that we made the decision to come here. Otherwise we would have just been like really nervous at home all night, making sure he's like still breathing. We'll update you guys with the next video and also with Porter's birthday. So look forward to that. See you later. Birthday, Pokemon. And you said you yeah. put down your morning gun. Would you follow me to one?